So this is the board that goes on the outside the wench. And with the modification for the outer um, gear, I actually just put the whole thing on my scroll saw and cut in a notch so that I'd be able to put this through. Because, right there we go. Then we have this, which will go right on here, like that. And this will screw on here with the uh, final gear right here coming through on some kind of crank. Right. So I've added this gear down here, notched on both shafts. It's uh, 3 to 1 again, so there's 3 to 1 here and 3 to 1 in here. This will go on here like so. And I'll devise some kind of crank or just bring it up and down with my drill, one of the two. So I tried a variety of solutions to try and where I put a groove in and, and a, a piece of metal in there and I tried to solder and I tried to epoxy it in and every time I tried to put any stress on it it would actually bend over and deform the plastic. It just was not working. So one of my solutions that I was going to do for this was drill holes and put a, a peg through. A steel rod here, it's actually stainless steel but it's what I had. Um, 16th of an inch. So made a little jig to drill a hole and we just gotta put this in here and put the peg in and it holds extremely well now although it is a little hard to get the peg in because you gotta line it up just right ooh I might have got it alright so I'm adding a ratchet around the outside that's gonna catch um, obviously to hold the spool in place without putting the load on the gears when it's in a resting state. Um, this is actually going to go on the inside. I'm putting it on the outside first just so I can go through and line it up and drill the holes for the screws. Okay, here we have it with the um, teeth attached for the ratcheting function so that when it catches it's using the outer rim to hold things in place. Here's the ratchet action. Basically I just have a piece that fits in here. I have it wrong way. It, it would work either way, but it's designed to fit the teeth perfectly one way. So I think I'm ready to uh, test trying to lift two kayaks with it. I went to roll it up, the metal rod literally pulled inside and wrapped around inside this. Yep, I was able to split it and then pull off the front. Essentially what it did is it twisted around and twisted around and then broke off. So both I need a better rod, so maybe uh, some music wire if I can get that size. And if I print this solid it probably will work. Alright, here we go. Lifts one kayak without it. Question is, will it lift two? All right, I have both kayaks hooked up. We'll see what happens here. Just gotta adjust the slip on my drill. Oh, geez. Oh. What actually ended up happening was this time my music wire 330 seconds that I replaced the uh, that's not it, the um, 116th stainless steel held up perfectly, the gear held up perfectly all the plastic stuff held up perfectly but it sheared off the, the rod in here and of course because I didn't hitch the ratcheting piece in place the kayak slammed to the ground Nothing's damaged, but uh, it's not the result I was looking for, obviously. Alright, I redid things for a 5 16 shaft. Uh, had to re Some of the parts I was able to drill out to the new size, like this gear, which is good because it took like almost four hours to print that solid. Um, this one I had to reprint 
I made a change. I added a, a hole where I have a, a pin going the length of it on each side. I don't know if you can see that, but so I got uh, a sixteenth of an inch pin going the length of it, and I drilled through three times, three thirty seconds, and I have a, basically a, a music wire just like this one going through here, so those can't possibly break. This hopefully prevents a catastrophic failure if. It would split it, but layer adhesion is pretty good with this stuff. So I think I'm ready to try again. This is my final test this year. It's entirely possible I need to re-engineer that piece yet, but right now there's just one on here. I do have my ratchet hinge. Make sure I'm going the right way because I found if you go the wrong way with the ratchet, the hinge ratchet that I'm here. Um Alright, we'll leave that like it is. I gotta go put the other kayak on. If there's nothing, I'll go try winding her up. It's working fine, but my uh, drill decided that was too much for it, or the battery's dead, so I have to get a different battery. Another battery, let's see if we can get it wound all the way up. Yes. All right. She's all the way up, but it's tight on this side. On that side, it's well, you can't see from here. So I have the ropes a little uneven. But the wench is a success. It's holding up. The ratchet is caught. So the stress is done on the gears to hold it in place. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching.